Hi everyone, it's Friday, which I am super excited about. It's been a super long week. Um, today is the last day that I'm going to be talking to you about boosting your immunity and helping you to avoid any kind of pathogens that might be going around. Um, I was just talking to another mom yesterday and she told me that there was um, someone in another kindergarten class that has confirmed having the flu. So it got me a little concerned, but just a little bit because I know that I have the oils and um, I just started increasing the amount that I was going to be using with my kids. So uh, this week we've talked about a couple different things on how to prevent getting ill or to help if you already starting to feel under the weather. Um, yesterday I talked about how you can use the oils to help um, soothe your throat or prevent any pathogens from causing a sore throat. And I had a question yesterday that reminded me of something I wanted to talk about today. So today I want to talk about what happens or how do you prevent the pathogens from affecting your sinuses. And I'm going to teach you a really quick trick that I use. Um, and what I do, because um, I do this on the go as well, so what I do is I keep a, a small thing in my purse that has little vials of oils in them. And these are just my common oils that I might use um, or need when I'm out of the house and don't have access to my large bottles. So what I will do is um, I will have a, a little vial of the Breathe Blend and Oregano. And both of these oils are considered hot, so you'll want to have fractionated coconut oil around just in case you get any on your face because it will make your skin um, more sensitive and red and could burn a little bit. So um, it's just a good idea to have, and my kitty wants to come say hello. Um, it's just a good idea to have um, the fractionated coconut oil just in case um, you know you get the oils on your skin. So what I do, I put one drop each into the palm of my hand and I'll try to keep it into the center of my hand. I will lightly rub my hands together like this and then I will take one hand, cup the other one over top and inhale deeply through the, the hole, through my nose and through my mouth. And what this does, it will, it's inhaling these oils into your respiratory system through your nose and through your mouth because you should not put oils inside the nose. So this is a way to help kill off any pathogens that are going to be living in your respiratory system um, through um, the nose or the mouth and it'll help get into the lungs as well. So when I had a really bad cough from the fires in California um, in November, I did this to help with the inflammation and um, uh, the problems I was having with my lungs. So, um, so this is a really great thing to, uh, to do, um, especially if you've been around uh, people that have been coughing or you're starting to feel under the weather. It, the sooner that you can do this, uh, the better off you will be in the long run. Um, I will do this when I'm on an airplane. So if I've been flying uh, for you know any period of time, as soon as I get off the plane, I will um, inhale the oils so that I can kill off anything that I may have breathed in um, during that flight. If it's a longer flight, then I will do it every couple hours um, just to prevent anything from making me sick because it will help um, kill things off. So that's my quick tip for today. I hope you guys have a really great Friday. And next week, I'm going to be posting and talking about how to jumpstart your metabolism, which is um, something that we're all um, working on at this time of year. Hi, Lori. Um, so I, um, I hope you guys will tune in and watch for that. And I hope you guys have a really great day.